All right, guys, what I'm going to show you here today is how to make a rack for a rack and pinion. So to get this profile of a tooth that matches a tooth that, you know, would be made here in Inventor, we have to um, basically copy this profile. So this is what your rack is going to end up looking like, but I'm going to start from scratch with you. So your rack is going to be something like a block, so you can make your block in a part file and, you know, to whatever dimensions that needs to be, like length and the height and all that stuff. Then uh, you can open an assembly file and we're going to go ahead and just make a random set of gears because all we need is the profile of the tooth. So we're going to go to design, go to, oh yes, of course you have to save it. Um, go to your spur gear and again, it really doesn't matter ratio or anything like that because we simply want the tooth. So we can drop that into place. Now, if you right click on this, you're going to go to Alright, so I just didn't see it. Sorry about that. It is export to shape. Alright. Now when you say OK, you don't have to touch anything here. When you say OK, it's going to open a new file. And you can see what it does here is it copies the profile, but it doesn't copy the entire profile of the tooth, just the valley, um, which we're going to have to modify just a bit, but no big deal. So we're going to copy that. And you can click on it like this, and then just hit Control C to copy. We're going to go back to our rack. We're going to do a sketch on the face that we want to see the tooth profile on. And we're going to do a Control V to paste. And there you can see it popped in. Now, because again, this tooth isn't quite complete, um, really what we're seeing there is we're only seeing um, like this right here. That's all we're seeing. We need to know the length of this line so that we can continue on with this. So if you go back to your gear, we can take a measurement. Now, it should be the same, but just to make sure, you go to Tools and then Measure. You can measure this, and it's coming in at a length of point. 133, three, which is exactly what I got the last time I did this, so again, it should be consistent. But if your tooth, for some reason, is a different size, you would have to get a different measurement for the length of this line. We're going to use that point 0.133, and we're going to replicate that 133. Just double check. So we'll come back to here. And we're going to draw a line from here over 0.133. Okay, now that's really all we need, and we can copy this right across to you. Now, I need to give myself a reference point here because um, it won't find this corner. It might, the last time I did it, but let's try it. Select it, hit move. It's already selected, so hit base point. Grab it by that corner. You can say yes, and see it won't it won't find that corner. So I'm just going to draw a line there, just to give it a reference point. Now again, move, select, base. I want to grab it from this corner, and then I can drop it in here. Now I can copy this. Select it from the base point right here. And I'm just going to keep repeating that profile across. There's other ways you can do this. But this is a simple quick method. And then you 
you may need to adjust your rack because obviously it's not always going to hit perfect. So if you go like that and then you say, okay, you know, I want to tweak my rack so that this ends at the end of the tooth, that'd be a good idea. Um, so I would recommend that you tweak that a little bit so it ends at either this corner or this corner. Um, let me just look a little nicer. We're going to finish the sketch. Now we can extrude all of those profiles. And there you have it. You've got your rack with a tooth profile that matches the exact profile of the gears that you made.